What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And in this video, I uncover the truth behind why all the seller ranking tools are lying to you. I'm gonna show you why they are all wrong and what you need to know in order to fully understand what is going on with the Amazon algorithm. So all you geeks out there, give me a hell yeah, because this video is for you. So I am certainly fired up. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. All right, peeps, I'm here at Amazon.com and I have no idea why I said that, peeps. I, what am I, hungry for Easter? Yes, I do love peeps, people. Can't you tell I'm a fluffy kid? All right, so let's talk about this. What is going on with Amazon? What is going on with these seller tools? Liz, why are you saying that they're lying? You know, I'm not necessarily saying that they're lying. I'm just necessarily saying that they just don't know. Uh, this is gonna be some advanced stuff, so get your nerd hats on, get your pencils out, get your pocket protectors, get whatever in the hell you gotta get out to pay close attention. I'm gonna be fast, I'm gonna be furious, and I'm gonna be short in this video. Uh, but the whole basis of this is just to show you that a lot of people are always in the comments down below saying, Liz, I can't find my product, it's nowhere to be seen, or Liz, my product keeps hopping around all over the place and I don't really know what the hell I'm ranked. Uh, this is quite common, even of high level sellers. I had a, a very good student of mine who's done as much as a quarter of a million dollars in a single day on Prime Day. Yes, he has. And he came to me and said, I don't understand. I'm trying to use a ranking service and I'm tracking my ranking. I'm all over the place. One day I'm 21, the next day I'm 155, the next day I'm two. So this led me down the path to trying to figure out why the hell this was the case. And guess what? I finally have figured it out and that's why I've jumped on here and decided to tell you guys what is going on. Now I have had some help in the back and I, I get to speak to some of the most brilliant minds. Some of them share more shit with me than others. And I appreciate those people very much. If they're watching this video, like kisses to you guys. But let me show you guys what's happening within the algorithm and uh, what you can do in order to really be able to predict where the hell you are or be able to tell where the hell you are. So let's go to get started. I'm going to use a specific example. Uh, this is a uh, I'm just going to randomly pick this one. I looked at this one beforehand and was studying the market and I, we're going to ignore all these sponsored products. The first four are sponsored and then we're looking for a particular product that I was looking for earlier. So it's going to be an orange square and I don't really know what number it is. It's right here. It's sponsored. That shows sponsored. So let's see how many are in the first page. I'm, I'm going to pause here and then count it out. Yeah, duh. I need a calculator for this shit practically because people, I, I, this is how little logic I have. i got to get a calculator to count this shit. I'll be right back. Moments later. All right, I'm back. It looks like there was 52 things on the first page, but I'm not seeing that guy anywhere. Uh, here we go. This guy, here we go. 52, 54. It's spot 54. Now keep in mind, I am in Miami and I'm checking that this product is 54. But if we change our location and we hop into another city and I do the same thing, same keyword, everything, let's see where it jumps off. Like 54, I practically have to write that shit down. I cannot remember. I'm telling you, I, I'm not as advanced as you think I am. If I can do this, so can a monkey and so can you, right? All right, so here we are. He's sponsored right here. And I'm just assuming it's a him because most Amazon sellers, it's a freaking sausage pest people. So we got four, uh, eight, 12, 16 and I don't know why I'm counting I'll be right back a few moments later all right here we are it's on page two it is number 65 so a very big difference like 10 or 11 spots not so much in this one but if you look in another county or another city you're gonna see that differently again depending on the IP address this one let's take a look at what the IP is so what is my IP all right I finally figured out how to sell how to spell that shit I'm in Orlando here but if we go back to the original site my original site shows me in Miami so two different locations two different versions but depending on where you are in the country it could be any particular ranking so what I'm saying pretty much is that the reason that, that your rank is varying all across the board is that Amazon now geo ranks your product. So what does that mean for you? That means that you can never truly gain or understand where you rank from a tool perspective. They just don't have the ability to track it. Now you might ask like, Liz, I don't understand. Why couldn't they just track it just like you did? Well, because it becomes too expensive for any one tool to do this. So 
they're going to just give you the data from one central location and that might that central location might track a couple different IPs just from a server perspective but the reality is that you will never truly know the ranking of your product and that's only because there's over 500 of these different uh, we can consider them municipalities or whatever the hell we want to and like, these are getting too technical 500 different locations people for fuck's sake 500 different locations or more that Amazon is ranking these products for so if you're in Chattanooga Tennessee you're going to get something way different from Miami Florida way different from Seattle Washington and way different from Washington DC Again, it's called geo ranking and it's something that Amazon has been rolling out for years now and people just aren't aware, particularly people that are brand spanking you. And even furthermore, this goes for t-shirts, this goes for books, this goes for physical products. It relates to absolutely anything sold on Amazon. So your books, uh, yeah, you better be paying attention because it happens with your books too. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. If you have a VPS, you can test this out. If not, let me know in the comments which products you would like me to track in my next video. Again, I need your participation in order to make this legit. I'm obviously not premeditated in picking these products purposely. Any product will have this a varying degree of rank. Again, test me out. We can do 10 products for all I give a shit. Put your suggestions down below, put your books down below, and we'll go ahead and track and see where you rank in Miami versus Orlando. And if I need to, I'll get another VPS just for the demonstration to show you what I'm talking about is in fact 100% real. So what can you do in order to prevent this from happening to you? Well, that's not possible. It's going to happen to you. But what can you do in order to figure out what you truly rank? Again, right now, that's not possible until somebody comes out with a tool that helps track all these different locations. But I can tell you this, that uh, it should be eye-opening data and really make you wonder, do you need a tracking the tracking or seller rank tool to begin with? The answer is you probably don't. So don't believe every single bit of information that the seller tools out there give you. They are merely guesstimates. And just as I displayed right here, they are merely poor guesstimates. So that is it for this video. I promised you to be short and sweet. Questions and comments below. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.